<laughs> Real cats. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, hey Cuba, <laughs> catch! <laughs> Ew, Cuba, look, you're a real pig. Stop rolling around. Let's play. Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now, the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. <laughs> Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still... a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cuz we're gonna dress you up. <laughs>
much better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> <laughs> don't get upset, Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic, even. A uh, feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am <laughs> eat you for lunch. Oh. oh no! It's a wolf. Let's run. <laughs> Don't worry. Our Cuba, he's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I burped! Oh, no, oh. no! Lotta, stop! Oh. oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! Oh, oh, oh! Oops. I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.
keeping up. I just... I wanted to breathe some fresh air. I've heard it's good for your health. Whew. In that case, can you breathe a bit faster? We're running late for Mappa. <laughs> hi there, Mila. Oh, hi, guys. Perfect timing. I had a nut roll under these roots. Can you help me get it out? Pretty please. Mila, have you seen the size of my paws? Look! They're huge. They won't fit in there. Mila, sorry, but Mappa is waiting for us. We'll definitely help you, but later! <sighs> the story of a hero. So today, children, I'm going to tell you the story <laughs> about the Nightingale's song. But Mappa Pandiga, Nightingale's again? Can you tell us something heroic? That's right, like about battles and stuff. <laughs> heroic? <laughs> about battles and stuff. <laughs> Okay, I've got something for you. It took place a long time ago. Back then, all animals in the forest lived peacefully together. No one hurt anyone. But then, something bad happened. From a faraway land, a great pack of wolves came to the taiga. The wolves were vicious and bloodthirsty and pestered the lives of the forest residents. The animals lost their peace. They got together for a council to decide who was going to defend their home forest. But no one dared to challenge the fierce wolves. Only one animal, the strongest, fastest, and bravest of all stood up to the wolves. The battle continued throughout the night. It was tough on our hero, but he never backed down and chased the wolves out of the forest. Woohoo! He really showed them wolves. Huh. Oh, Mappa Pantiga! So who was that hero? A leopard, right? Why would you think it's a leopard? It was a tiger for sure. Some say it was a leopard. Some talk about a tiger. It was a long time ago. Well, children, go now, and I'm gonna have a nap. Tig, let's play the hero game. Okay, Tig, I'll be the hero, and you'll be the wolf. Go ahead, try to howl. <clears throat> How? No, that's not working. It doesn't sound like a wolf. It sounds like a chipmunk. You are the chipmunk. Chipmunk. <gasps> Tig, try to howl in here. Wow! <laughs> Now? Leo, hold on. How come I have to be the wolf? I want to be the hero. Oh, no. The hero was a leopard. But Mappa said that... Mappa just didn't want to get you upset. Maybe he didn't want you to get upset. Everyone knows that the hero was a tiger. Because tigers are stronger than leopards. Stronger? Whatever. The leopard is agile. No, I disagree. I play the hero or not at all. Tig, let's make a deal. Whoever's the first to the top gets to be the hero. Okay, you got a deal. Hey, that's not fair! Well, don't be so slow then. <laughs> Try and catch up! <laughs> Wanna give up? Lil, try to keep up! Stop! Listen, Mila. 
Angela. Wait here. I'll be right back. I need to show Tig who the real hero is, and then I'll come back. Mila, have you seen Leo? Yeah, he ran that way. Tig, will you help me? This is a bad time, Mila. I need to beat Leo first. Then I'll come back. Stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. How could I go anywhere? Look at that! A weasel! Poor thing got trapped! Shall we help her? Uh-huh, yeah! And also have a lunch! <laughs> <laughs> well, who's the hero now? Huh? Well, hero, wanna give up? Heroes never give up! <laughs> Should go first. <laughs> That's Mila. Something happened. Let's go. Ah. Here, take that. Ah. Shoot! How do you like that? Stop that right now. How about this? Ah. Ah. This is not going to help you anyway. That's fine. You are about to run out of those pine cones. Yeah, no more pine cones. <laughs> Leave me alone right now, or I'll. Oh, more food. Come over here, my delicious. <laughs> Who did you call food, huh? Leo, let's show them. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> Uh, let's just throw them out of here. <laughs> we already have less spicy food. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Get away from me. Don't. <laughs> Box, what was that? Wolves? Nonsense! What wolves are you talking about? Angry and hungry. <gasps> Boss, they're here. It's definitely wolves. All right, let's leave. It's better to stay out of their way. <laughs> you got lucky, weasel. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This time... <laughs> Leo, you have to be very careful. Wolves are coming. It's okay, Mila. There are no wolves. It was all Tig and me. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> you sounded just like real wolves. <laughs> I even got a little bit scared. <laughs> And here's that nut. Thank you, guys. You know, you are my heroes. Tig, I've got an idea. Maybe the hero that chased away the wolves wasn't alone. 
Maybe there were two of them? Yeah, that's right. A tiger and a leopard. We can both be heroes. And Mila can be the wolf. Let's go play. <laughs> hey, why me? I don't want to be the wolf. Wait, guys, come on. That's not fair. Leo, Tig. Ah, mighty blizzard comes to us. Winter wanders winter fuss. Ah, we can't wait to see. Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, no, yeah? No, no. Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins, let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. <laughs> we are very cool. Beavers always rule. Every kid knows what I mean. <laughs> Beavers go, go, go. Score a go, go, go. Done, guys. And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. 
See you in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Take this. Ugh. Miss me. <gasps> Miss me again. <gasps> Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. What's going on? Calm down. Let's run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard. Or have a holiday. Yeah or have holiday magic, either. We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's amazingly huge. Oh! oh. I have a plan! Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration.
little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run, Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mika! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Mika! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Mika! Mika's coming! Oh, that's Mika! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! hero! He's safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy! And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast! In your honor! Feast in my honor? This is so awesome! I'm a hero! 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 Tig! You can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Praise hey, the you need hero. to be more careful carrying me. Praise Don't let the hero, hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Ooh, is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Hey! Help me! Ooh, made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The second deed! The second deed! Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero. Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig. <laughs> the legend's telling the truth. You came back to us again. The legend? <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The Lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster 
Go away. That's awesome. What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! Praise and now when hero! you are here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No. The hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Bielsa got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! Ha, 
the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, you're a wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig. You're hopeless. <laughs> A gift from the spirit of the tiger. So sweet. So fresh. What a nice chubby boar. Came for lunch himself. Stop right there! Okay, this way. Okay, now this way. <laughs> I found him! <laughs> very, very good job. Did you see it? Cuba spent like half an hour sniffing around and I'm like, bam, bam, and found it. I've got an awesome nose. <laughs> well done, Tig. So, Mapa Pandigo, where did the sense of smell even come from? Oh, that's an ancient story, children. Once upon a time, animals didn't have any sense of smell at all. Oh, <gasps> that's incredible. Listen to the story. In those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food, and they began starving, and it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the taiga felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure. And the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators, the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mappa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> the spirit of Tyga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> no, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The red wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig, stop screaming like that. We don't want the Red Wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well... Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah, got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. If it weren't for you, 
Cuba wouldn't go anywhere. What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba, you've been searching for half an hour. <laughs> Maybe you forgot your nose at home. <laughs> oh, I know. You exchange your nose for acorns. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. <gasps> Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise! A kitten dessert! Leo, do you think this one's real? He said we're dessert! Must have eaten Cuba already, and now he's gonna eat us! the trail all right you've outsmarted me but next time you won't manage to run away from me <laughs> it worked he left he couldn't smell us <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster the mud covered our smell 
<laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back. <laughs> and we thought you were the Bobland monster, not Cuba. <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, but I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> And this is Lily of the Valley, my favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew! Mapa, it smells like frogs! <laughs> You're right, that smells very weird. Very weird. It's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig! You're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub. <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog. <laughs> Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> you sleepy heads. Go! Line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice! What? Target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two! This will surely be... you! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready and aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! Alright, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game! Huh! <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever! Ahem. Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses! Aye! The spy glass, Captain! Helm to port! Aye! Helm to port! Ensign, hoist the colors! Aye! Hoisting the colors! the boat out! <sighs> when you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh yeah, awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. They steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 We're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Hmm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> That is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. 
<laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? Ha 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 ha! Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong! That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are! <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike! Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we gonna do when Spatty and Strength come back? Yar! We'll cut them to pieces! Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes! <laughs> They're all bent! <laughs> I also have an idea! A brilliant pirate idea! <laughs> <laughs> So, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. Uh. And aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! Tig! Help me! Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No one will save you now! Oh no, so sad! So, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <sighs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Tig, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! 
Your crew member is now ours. And the ship as well. <laughs> Yo ho ho. <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. I'm curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork? I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the forest! Phew, that was too close. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet again! <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? 
He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. Ah. Remember, baby T, Tiger is the Tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Mm -hmm. Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Mm -hmm. Well, now you try. <sighs> Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Roar! <laughs> like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Woo! And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train Little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet! But he won't be! Because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard! Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! W where is T? Baby T, come out! Say something! We're here! Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something. Uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up. It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> 
you! Back off our little baby tea! Could you say that again? Didn't catch that! Keep your filthy beak off baby tea! <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner! <gasps> Run, T! Save yourself! <laughs> Together. <laughs> Look, it's her. It's the wise turtle. Goodbye. Swim, T. This is your family. And well, I wanted to say you were one awesome tiger and a brave leopard. Don't forget to ride! Off with the feathered ones. is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing a song. Sing about the thing you want. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait a 
Hey, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Oh, 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 Cut it out right now. <laughs> Who's the boss around here? Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Ah! 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 No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did me... they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mapa. He must know. These are squeaky mosquitoes! Grab the pine branches! Get to the cave! Yes! So now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mapa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes. Poor animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. And then Wolf. But they returned empty handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come, the spirit of the tiger, come to us. Oh, come. Was 
Spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the tiger. Please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing a song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need you here. Just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to Mystery. Okay, Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martique on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old Cedar, raise your voice. Martique, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, 
Old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to hear is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty little eyes. tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> That's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> not far now. What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! <gasps> Run! Ooh. Ooh. Look out! Oh, no! 
Mortique! Why didn't you warn us about such a... such a... Because it wasn't there! It must have appeared because of the fire! Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Flying on a wing, mighty forest bright. Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits. Don't be scared. It's the tree spirit. It's calling you with grace. Can you hear that? Listen, that's. We'll show you the pretty world. It's full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> A miracle! <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Little Blizzy. But I saw it first! Mappa Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! Back. No! Let's go! Martens! No. Target detected! The spotted one and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter! Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy! <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter! <laughs> Whatever! Spike, just to be clear, when are we gonna start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food! Martins use their brains instead! Ah, <laughs> good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain. 
where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then, be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Oh, dear me! <laughs> I think it's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! My baby girl! Baby girl? Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, Mappa Pandiga. We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. We need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry. And the tiger won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! Someone wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Huh? Here? give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about our stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. 
boy do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! Hello? I think we should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Lizzie! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you! Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry! You want your mom? Let's go! We know the right way! Baby girl, you're back. Thank you. Hey, look! The frost is thawing! The blizzard isn't angry anymore! Yeah, we did a good job. Hmm. <laughs> there. Now we are definitely ready for winter. Look at that! Use your brain! <laughs> <laughs> 